Meantime, another local school system is talking about how it's keeping children safe in class. Yeah, today, Virginia Beach's superintendent talked to the media ahead of a Zoom call for parents Wednesday. And 10 of your sides, Andy Fox joins us with that part of the story tonight. Andy? Yeah, Lynn and Tom, Dr. Aaron Spence reported that 90% of students and parents are reporting the schools are safe places to learn. He also said there are real issues. And on Wednesday, he plans on letting parents know the school system needs help from home. Dr. Aaron Spence is not sold on metal detectors in schools quite yet. There are studies that talk about the impact of, of policing in our schools, that talk about the impact of metal detectors and the layers of security. He is sold on armed officers strategically placed. Recently, I've begun phasing in our armed secure, school security officer program. We now have 17 armed security officers uh, who are there to assist and support our school resource officers. But there is a difference, he thinks, between a cop on the beat on the street and a cop in the school. At the same time, we have an obligation to make sure that our schools are as safe as they can be. And um, that is why we have a robust school resource officer program with the Virginia Beach Police Department. The school system received a grant for school violence prevention. That is um, going to allow us to continue to address effective communications during emergencies or critical incidents and allow us to purchase a mass in a, uh, communications and emergency notification system. Mental health is also front and center in hiring personnel. We've asked for three additional behavior intervention positions in our proposed budget. These uh, positions work directly with teachers and principals on students with the most challenging behaviors. Dr. Spence also wants to send a message home to Virginia Beach families that violent outbursts are on the rise in Virginia Beach city schools hitting or biting a teacher we've seen a lot of those behaviors we've seen where they maybe pick up a chair and throw it we've had to clear out classrooms on a fairly regular basis yeah, that was the most concerning thing we heard during our interview. The Zoom webinar for elementary students is at 5.30 on Wednesday and 6.30 for secondary students. Parents who want to ask questions for the superintendent need to be submitted by 5 p.m. tomorrow. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.